we, you know, had a couple good games. Um, but we got to be consistent throughout the rest of the season and continue to, you know, do our job and play our role in the defense. Mm -hmm. hey, thanks, man. No problem. Eric, game against Washington, um, how, how would you assess how your line played and, and the defense as a whole in that game? I think we played well. We held them to low rush yards. Um, they weren't able to move the ball running on us. Um, we made them one-dimensional, which was our main focus, uh, try to get the quarterback to throw the ball around and downfield. And um, I think we did a pretty good job of that. You have Cal now, who is kind of naturally a one-dimensional team. Uh, how do you handle playing a team like that that you know is going to chuck it all over the field? You got to get after the quarterback. They start running the ball more than they have in the past. But uh, like you said, they're um, mainly pass teams. So you got to get after the quarterback, get the ball out of his hands quick, um, force him into tough decisions. You, uh, you grew up in, in Sacramento, obviously, close to Cal. How close were you to, to going to Cal? I know I remember a few years back a lot of the – Cal fans thought you were going to end up there. How close were you to, to playing Cal? Uh, I would say I was pretty close. It was one of them, my top schools I was thinking about going to. It uh, didn't work that way and, um, you know, ended up here and everything worked out for the best. Yeah, you imagine you're happy at this point with your decision to come here. Instead yeah, of I am. Uh, I felt like it was the best decision for my life um, at the time. And now I still feel like I made a good decision. Yeah. Do you know a lot of guys on that team? Uh, I know a couple guys on the team. Um, one one of their tackles went to my elementary school, so um, yeah, I know a couple of them. So, what, wait, same age as you? Yeah, we were in, I want to say, first or second grade together, same class. Stephen Moore. Uh, no, not really. Um, <laughs> he went to my rival high school in high school too, but we never ended up playing against each other. He went to El Grove, and I went to Pleasant Grove, so. Um, yeah, it's kind of crazy to you know, play against him again. Is he an offensive tackle or a tackle? Yeah, he's an offensive oh, tackle. How are you feeling physically? Uh, I'm okay. Getting better every day. You got to keep rehabbing and get 100. Were you not 100 Saturday, obviously? Uh, no, I, w I was you know, out there trying to do what I could. Um, you know, yeah, trying to help my team win as much as I can. First yeah. time you've had to handle something like that? Um, yeah, leg-wise. Leg uh, I never really had leg or injuries that – um, limiting my movement, really. Yeah. So that was the first time I had to deal with that. You have to kind of feel out then what, what you can and can't do? Uh, yeah, just do what you can, I guess. Um, you know, it's tough, but just trying to. How many places did you get in? Uh, I don't even know. Just a couple series, Yeah, I just played a little bit. Yeah. Just kicking up. Yeah. I'll, I'll, be, I'll be good, though. So you got bragging rights now over your buddy Shaq. Uh, you guys have <laughs> talk since that game? Uh, yeah, he, we talked right after the game. Uh, you know, he's you know, obviously a little ticked off, a little mad that they lost, but, um, you know, it, it was fun playing against him. 3-0 and against him uh, in your career now. It's, it's, it's got to be good, right, to have that, that kind of bragging rights over him? Yeah, 3-0 and against the University of Washington. Uh, anytime you can go undefeated against a team in your career, it's, it's pretty good.